What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, E. Watts. Hello to all my Earthlings out there. Today, we are eating at my place today. This is my place. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Can't wait to show you guys what we're eating. So we are doing either Chipotle or Qdoba. Well, I'm gonna let you guys know what your boy likes. So come on, zap in, and let's get to grubbing. All right, YouTube, as I mentioned, I, your boy, Ewan, am going to be eating either Qdoba or Chipotle today. Can you guess which one it is? Drum roll. I am a Qdoba baby. Yes, I am eating Qdoba today. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy. Obviously, y'all know I got my juice here because we got to coat our throat. Let's make sure we do that first. Let's say our grace. Okay. We got to coat the throat. Got a little bit of apple juice today. This is actually one of my favorite brands of apple juice here. You get this, baby, you good to go. Mmm. The apple juice. Well, let me show y'all. I got this big ass, I'm sorry, big old burrito. It is stuck with, oh, they gave me extra sour cream. I love sour cream. There's sour cream, the chicken, the steak, uh, pico de gallo, obviously sour cream, queso, and cheese. This is about to be an amazing burrito. Uh-oh, I think one of my dogs is over there coughing, y'all. Y'all know I got Bob and Bucky, they over there. I'm actually upset at them right now. So they can stay over there. And then I got me some jalapenos on the side. So let's go ahead and chow down. My silverware. I'm gonna break open the burrito because first of all, if you think Chipotle is better than Qdoba, you're sadly mistaken. You're crazy. Chipotle, Chipotle is good, don't get me wrong. I love Chipotle, but, oh, Lord Jesus. But Qdoba just hit different for me. It just hits different for me. And look at my little babies over there. They mad, they just got in trouble, y'all. Very much in trouble um, for going up to another dog. Like just both of them just ran up to the other dog. I'm like, excuse me, y'all are trained. Y'all know better than that. So they both in trouble over there, they sulking. Um, but let's get into this burrito. I wanna cut this open for you guys. There was a place that I used to grow up uh, not that I used to grow up, that I grew up around. It was called McBob's. McBob's had the best, best burritos you've ever wanted to see, eat, taste. I'm talking about that thing was delicious. Oh yeah, napkins. We about to get down. For real, for real. I'm gonna see if I can pick it up. See, they stuff it so much. It'd be so jam packed and juicy. Oh my goodness, there's black beans on here. I forgot to tell y'all that. Oh, and I got onions on it this time. My breath gonna be kicking. And I got a date tonight too, y'all. So wish me luck. Y'all know I got a little fresh haircut. Shouty looking good, shouty looking cute. So I am going on a date tonight. Mm. Mm hmm. We're gonna get to that date part, but first I'm gonna eat. Mm, mm -mm. So, all of my earthlings know I love sloppy food. If it ain't sloppy, it ain't right for me. I love sloppy food, like just slop it on there. Mm hmm. First of all, Qdoba meat is just so seasoned, so good. They put that bad boy like on that grill. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely a big difference from Chipotle. Qdoba hands down. Shout out to my niece who actually told me about Qdoba in Atlanta because when I lived in Wisconsin, I used to always go to Qdoba. And that was years, years ago, but she told me, she was like, there's one right up the street, uncle. And I'm like, no, there's not. She's like, yes, it is. I order there from Grubhub all the time. And I'm like, really? 
And she's like, yeah, she was absolutely right. So shout out to her. Thank you, boo. Nisi Pooh got it, got it hooked up because she know her uncle like to eat. So, mm. Mm hmm. Girl, tell me what y'all like, Qdoba or Chipotle? Let me know who is better. Oh, baby. This right here, this bad boy, you see this fat thing? Hits every single time, every time. Mm-hmm. That's what I need in my life. You know the crazy thing is, is people are mad weird, y'all. Very mad weird, like. People need to really like, first of all, if you work in customer service, be customer service, be kind, be gentle. Cause I'm sure you didn't have that attitude when you was in an interview. When you was filling out the application, I didn't make you fill out the application. You didn't have an attitude when you was in the interview. So keep that same energy. Oh, yes, I like helping people, you know, solving issues, solving the customer problem. Yeah, but you'll be the main damn problem at the front register. Crazy. Crazy. You customer service, be customer service, help people, find a solution. That's my biggest thing about people who work in customer service is they don't find a solution. Even if they don't know the answer, say, hey, look, sir, ma'am, I don't know the answer. Or you know what? That's a great question. I don't know the answer, but let me go find out for you. Let me go try this. Let me go ask this person who may know to lead you in the right direction. Don't just write somebody off. That's what pisses me off. You'll never be able to write me off and think that I'm just going to take it. Shit. Got nothing coming. So, I can't wait to give you guys a tour of my crib on Ewatts World. But yes, tonight I do have a date. It is somebody who I've been on a date with before. We've been on three or four dates. He moved away. And now he's back here in Atlanta, Georgia. And you going out for, you know, we're going out tonight and feel the vibes on each other. Hopefully one day, if he ever become my boyfriend, which maybe he will, I will feature him on the channel so you guys can meet him and you can see us. Mm. That would be so cool. Honestly, it would be dope. Mmm, that steak. Oh my God, look at this steak and chicken on here. Look at that. Oh my God. Mmm, mm mmm. Mmm. -mm. Being a sloppy eater is fun. Mmm, mmm. So, I've been reading, you know, I've been trying to keep my mind right. 2022, 2022, going into the new year healthy as I can be. Working out, gaining more weight, building some body, body mass. Um, and also keeping my mind right. I'm starting this book, guys. I don't know if you can see it. It's called, it's actually a uh, number one New York Times bestseller. Two million copies sold. It's called, You Are a Badass. How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jim Sincero. You can see I got it on sale from Target, 20% on it. I'm gonna take the stick off. But I actually saw this book for the first time at a hookah lounge, which I'll take you guys to that hookah lounge uh, pretty soon have that coming up um and the girl was reading it and she loved it she said it was so good and it must have been a sign because i saw the same book in target so i'm like yeah that's definitely a sign and they got a sign say bye me 
So I purchased it. I'm gonna be reading a chapter of it a day. And I'm gonna be letting you guys know what exactly did I read? What did I get out of it? How it can help? How it can help us all, you know, keep our minds together because there's so much going on in the world and we get flustered and so much stuff poured into us that's not, you know, good for us. Mentally, it's not good for us. So I just want in Ewok's world for all of us to be in sync, all of us to be positive, motivational, supportive. I don't know what I'm about. All that other stuff, nah. Oh my God. Child, this is so good. Oh. Mm. There's no way Chipotle is better than Q-Dobo. No way at all. Mm -hmm. Everybody, People, like I said, people are just mad weird. <laughs> mad weird. I'm naturally a sweet, kind person. Funny, I'm genuine. I have a lot of people, a lot of friends because I'm a good person. I'm good to people. I'm not an evil, malicious type person. It's not in me. Uh-oh. I would, I would rather somebody just leave me alone. You know, I'd rather just leave the person alone if I don't like them or have a problem with them. Mm. Mm. Do you guys like my haircut? Thanks. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Uh oh. Y'all hear them? They about to get it on and popping down there. They be wrestling. I wonder if I could call one of them. Y'all want to see one of them? Uh, let me see. Zena. Zena, up. Come here. Up. She don't want to get up. Hold on. Don't embarrass me now, y'all. Come on, Z. Yeah. Uh, uh. No, Baba. You are not supposed to do that. <laughs> Look, this is Zena, guys. This is my baby girl. I've had her, she's two years old. I've had her since she was a little nook nook. Nook nook. She loved her daddy. She's a full blooded Roddy. And she's gorgeous. This is my baby girl. This is my, they call it the bottom bitch. This is my bottom bitch. She's a ride or die for me. Like she, sometimes she look at me so hard. Like she just like, you can sense the love. like. I love you so much, and I love that. Let me see if Bunky will come over. His name is Brutus, but I call him Bunky. Bunky, come here. Come on, good boy. Guys, this is Brutus. Brutus got a big old head. Now he is so bad, but he's so sweet and lovable and gentle. He wouldn't harm a fly. He likes hugs, he likes cuddles. He's stingy with his toys now. Um, and he's also very possessive over me. He doesn't even let me pet Xena or pet anybody. But Brutus is just a love muffin bug. He's so cute. Mm, I love Bunky. And he's one years old. And his name is Brutus. Look how big his head is. Brutus, look. <laughs> All right, Bunky. Don't get too clever now because I know you will tear this whole, tear this whole uh, meal up. This is my Bunky. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Sweet. He's also a full blooded German uh, AKC registered Rottweiler as well, too. All right, baby. Down. Down. Thank you. All right, so since I just touched the dogs um, and they just came from a walk, I have to quickly just wash my hands really quick because where I'm laying at, no cross contamination, no none of that, none of that, none of that. So, just give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Still here. Have to, you know, sanitize myself. I love my babies, but I know that they get into some shiz night when they out there. So, you know, just gotta make sure we 
We good to go, but I'm still gonna work on this burrito though. I'm still gonna work on this Torito. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm thinking about doing more videos with Baba and Bunky inside of it. Cause they characters, they sweet. They're really cute. Mm-hmm. No. This is delicious, guys. Just the meat alone. Everything about it. And they always like give you enough for like two meals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We gonna read this book together. Y'all tell me if y'all have read it, you heard about it, we gonna get it, we gonna cop it. Let me know. Then you can follow along with me. And we can talk about some things. Mm-hmm. Oh, we. I'm excited about my date tonight. I really am. Can y'all give me like some pointers, like what to do? What to say? Because I really, really like him. I really like this guy. Really do. Um, I mean, I'm dating others too, but him, I really, really like. Y'all tell me how it's going to go. I'm asking me what to say. What, like, what do I say? What questions should I ask? Maybe I'll bring him on my channel. That's what I'll do. I'll let you guys decide. I'll bring him on my channel. I'll bring another guy on my channel. And y'all will tell me which one stays. We're going to have our own little um, bachelor, uh, bachelor um, for the love, uh, flame of love of Eli. We're going to have our own one to see which one gets to land their spaceship on Ewat's planet. We're going to see which one it's to put their rocket in my solar system, all in my orbit. No, <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, yeah. So let's, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. I just gotta get the clearance from them. They won't know, but when they watch the video, oh, they gonna know. Oh yeah, they're going to know. Both of them are great guys, though. Both of them are great guys. So I'm at, they both, oh, oh, they both are great guys. Like, one has like all pros. The other ones have pros, cons. And the ones with the pros and cons is the one that I like the most. But they're not cons to where it's not something that we can't work through or something that can be overlooked or like a growing phase or something that can be, it's not cons like that. Like, oh, oh. Uh, um, I got 10 boyfriends. It ain't nothing like, it ain't no, nothing bad that we can't work through. So, you know, I'm happy about that. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I am stuffed. I am full. I am full as a bull. I have to tend to Baba and Bunky, to uh, Brutus and Xena. Um, you guys can call them Baba and Bunky too. Baba is Xena, Bunky is Brutus, I'm gonna finish this the rest for lunch tomorrow, probably. And I think it'll make a good leftover lunch. Even when it's cold, it'll still make a good leftover lunch. Um, Cause Q-Dope is just smashing like that. I'm sorry, sorry Chipotle. I'm a Q-Doper. Uh... All right, so I do want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Until next time, zip up. Hold up, y'all. I have ha I got to tell you guys this. This is actually going to be a part two of everything that was going on with Qdoba. So as you can see, I'm dressed differently. This is day two of what I ate yesterday. So I decided to go back up to Qdoba to um, get chicken and rice for the dogs. Brutus and Xena eat very well. They, they're my kids, they're my babies. So I got them chicken and rice. So I go up there and while I'm waiting in line, 
you know, I'm taking a look at everything. I get greeted by, mind you, we just talked about how important customer service was and how service is so important, especially to me. I go in, you know, the staff, they're there and they're like, hey, we heard you came in yesterday. It's good to see you. How are the dogs? And I'm like, wow, you guys remember. That's great. Yes, awesome. Yes, I was here yesterday. And while we're making small talk, there's a lady behind me in line. And she says, you know, and I'm taking like little pictures and stuff and we're talking. She says, what are you doing? And I say, I'm, um, I'm a YouTuber and I have an eating show channel and um, I'm just taking a couple of pictures so I can show people how amazing Qdoba is. I let her know I was from Wisconsin. I grew up there. We had them there and then we moved to Florida and I didn't have them for over 10 years. And now I'm in Atlanta and there's one right up the street. So that's what brought me here. And I love the service here. I love the people and the food. We start making small talk, but it just goes to show you how important kindness is. So at the end of the conversation, she says, well, I'm really glad that you enjoyed your experience because my husband, he actually owns this place. What? I was flabbergasted. I was like, oh my gosh, wow. That's amazing. And you know what else she did? She said for New Year's, I'm going to go ahead and you know what? The dogs, the food is on me today. She was able to bless me and my pups. Um, we did talk about Brutus and Zena. She was able to bless us with that meal. That meant so much to me. That meant so much to Brutus and Zena and that they were able to eat a good meal before the new year. And that little small act of kindness is going to carry through me so that way I can be kind to someone else. And I hope that everyone takes away from this and know that kindness, it, 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 it can be infectious. And the way that the staff treated me at this Qdoba, the way that the owner's wife treated me at this Qdoba, there are upstanding class of people and I'm so happy to be a part of the Qdoba family now they're family to me now so um thank you guys so much and thank you so much I just had to add that little remix in and till next time zap out hey guys thank you so much for joining me today I hope that I was able to shed a lot of good clarity on things that I have going on. I hope you enjoyed the meal. Let me know if you are Qdoba or Chipotle. Let me know if you're going to be following along with me with the book. Um, got my little juice right here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I have a couple of features coming up soon. Um, one is with one of the bad girls from Bad Girls Club and also Baddies ATL. And we just did a spinoff uh, show called The Real Baddies Take Atlanta Back. So you'll see my cast members there on the pilot show that we saw. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm trying to get me to a million subscribers. Please spread the word. Just take people phone and just, here, e -Watch World, here. Just do it. Everybody in your house, just give me five people. If five people gave five people, no, five people gave five people, it would be tremendous. So like, comment, share. Until next time, guys, zap out.